This week on Raiders Talk of the Nation, the Raiders team up for an important cause. It takes all of us to fight cancer. Plus, the personal connection between Fred Bolitnikoff and Brandon Bolden. When I first found out, I'm not going to lie to you, I was ashamed, I was scared. I didn't know if I was going to play football again. But... And I catch up with singer-songwriter Rachel Platten ahead of her powerful halftime performance. What's up, guys? I'm Iggy Azalea, and you're watching Raiders Talk of the Nation. I'm Sibley Scholes, and welcome to Raiders Talk of the Nation. Throughout the season, the NFL works to make a difference outside of the game. The NFL Foundation helps fund and support league-wide initiatives in everything from saluting our service members to inspiring change to breaking barriers. But it's the mission of the NFL's crucial catch to fight cancer, and it's a cause that has a big impact in the community. We're here at Allegiant Stadium here uh, with Intermountain Healthcare and Candlelighters uh, celebrating youth cancer fighters here on October 18th. Uh, just having a great time out here tonight. These are looking really good that I brought on today. So at first they were just told that we were coming to Allegiant Stadium. We had no idea what we were going to be doing. So they had a lot of great ideas of what they thought they were going to do. So the first step was coming down and getting to meet the players um, as soon as they came into the stadium. And they got to tie-dye some shirts with them outside for the Crucial Catch Month. And then they came inside and were welcomed with a great big huge buffet of food. They got to have dinner with the players. And then they got to look at the field and then do a tour of the Raiderettes locker room and the players locker room. And now they're on the field um, with some of the players just hanging out. It's awesome just to get their uh, perspective on everything. They're super positive kids, so it's great to spend some time with them. It's really cool because obviously, you know, for the most part, a lot of them are high schoolers. Um, you know, so just talking to them about school and, you know, what's going on in their lives. Um, you know, but obviously they're, they're fighting a lot of battles, you know, whether it be, you know, them currently fighting cancer or them overcoming it, you know, and just, you know, being in remission and, you know, continuing in that fight. Um, and so it's really cool to just kind of get some sort of perspective from them um, and chat with them and, um, you know, just just hang out with them. You know, it, we're keeping it casual, having a good time, just joking around. So it, it's been a really fun night getting connected with these kids. This partnership is huge. Honestly, they support our teen scene program throughout the year. Um, they fund at least six of our programming um, events. Our teen scene is a monthly support program network group for kids diagnosed with cancer um, throughout their journey and their uh, teen age, so 13 to 18. Without the Raider support in Intermountain Healthcare, we would not be able to facilitate these teen programs every month, so it's a huge support for the teens and for the Candlelighters organization. Uh, so my father was diagnosed with cancer, but he ended up passing away from it. So just to go out and spend some time with these kids, you know, it's, it's awesome. You know, just st stay positive, you know, uh, like like my, my, my dad was always very positive and uh, I mean, it, I think it played a big role with uh, how, he, how long he was able to make it through uh, his whole um, ordeal with cancer. So just stay positive and just keep fighting. Each year, every NFL team raises awareness during their crucial catch game in October, and that of course includes the Raiders. Every team has their own unique way of showcasing in-stadium elements and support for the initiative, but the game also presents a special opportunity to honor cancer survivors. It takes all of us to fight cancer. Crucial catch game, we had five cancer survivors, very emotional, a lot of tears were happening on that stage. You perform through that and your voice carries everyone on that stage as well as the stadium. There was so much love, just this unconditional kind of love of, of um, I used to sing in hospitals bedside for patients and way before any success I had, that would always bring me back to why I do this. So it was very familiar to me to be around people who are fighting and struggling and like, and, and healing. Once you are listening to that kind of music, it's just kind of heartfelt and it yeah. touches a certain spot in you. I got to hug all of them and do a little prayer with them right before I went on. I love that. And I was a little bit out of it right before because it was like, the stadium was so, whoa, this is crazy, I'm a little scared. 
and hugging them and, and hearing their stories put me right back into my purpose. Like, this is why I'm here. You know, my mantra in our home is, you know, we, I have cancer, but cancer is not defining who I am. This song is here to help people. And so my intention is to just spread as much love as I can and to get myself as much out of the way as I can so that the source of love that we all have can come through me. Just to find little things that keep you going and keep you happy. And it was like a, a emotional and it was exciting and a relief. Yeah, okay. really powerful. Reminded me everything that I've gone through and yeah. how far we all, all have come. Raider Nation, please give it up one more time for Rachel Platten, the Raiders house band, and our brave and courageous cancer survivors. It takes all of us to fight cancer. Coming up, just to acknowledge those women and how cool I think that that is of them to embrace it and still feel powerful, still feel beautiful. And later... He has a special place in the hearts of the Raiders, and especially his teammates. Raiders Talk of the Nation will be right back. Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Allegiant Air, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, non-stop flights. Book now only at Allegiant.com. Powered by Cox, a proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Was this the first time you've been to Allegiant Stadium? It's the first time I've been to a football game in real life. I've watched them on television lots. Okay. And I really enjoyed them, so I was really excited to come today. Talk about the roar from the silver and black Raider Nation when you're out there on that stage. Oh my gosh, you know, I didn't know what to expect because one, like I said, I'd never been to a football game and Raider Nation was awesome out there today. They really like made me hyped up and made me feel like I was at a concert and I wasn't expecting that and I, I love it. I appreciate it so much. Strength and scars, when you say yes. that, that's, I just wanted to get the meaning of that for you. Um, well, for me, I made a breast cancer shirt that was strength and scars, was yeah. like what the shirt was, and I did a like heavy metal style because I wanted to like do something that felt like tough or strong yeah. or, you know, and strength and scars, I just, I like the way that women wear their scars proudly and I felt really inspired looking at the different images or hearing different stories of women who were like proud of their scars or who were proud of like what they battled through and that they felt like it was almost a badge of honor and yeah. so I wanted something like just to acknowledge those women and how cool I think that that is of them to embrace it and still feel powerful, still feel beautiful. Go Raiders! He's one of the newest players on the team's roster, but he's not new to the game of football. After playing more than a decade in the NFL, running back Brandon Bolden is used to doing what it takes to be prepared as an athlete. But in 2018, he faced his toughest opponent yet. Brandon first shared his very personal story in 2021, but now he is reflecting on the journey that brought him to where he is today. Getting ready to go into the playoffs the, for the Super Bowl, and I took a shot like right under the chin, and like I thought my face was on fire. Extreme pain and everything else, and it was like you know we just gonna get it, you know get it looked at after the season. Went in and got a biopsy. I actually made it back home. Was kind of hanging out with the kids. Phone goes off, and so I go outside and talk to the doctor. And he's like, "Yeah, we think you have uh, some form of cancer, and uh, we want to run some more tests." I was diagnosed with mucoepidermal and carcinoma. It's pretty much a cancer that develops in the spit gland, and from there it kind of spreads and can get into your bone and everything else. It was like a punch in the stomach. All wind came out of me. I didn't even know how to respond. My wife was standing right next to me, and I'm looking at her, and it's like, how do I fix my mouth to even repeat what I just heard? And uh, so that was a, a tough moment. My wife took it probably the hardest. My kids. Kids are kids. They just hear the word cancer. It's like, oh, you know, it's, put a Band-Aid on it. You'll be fine. I went and had surgery. They actually had to take a piece of bone out of the back of my skull because the cancer had kind of got into that. I had a huge scar. I think I was in the hospital for four days. After surgery, everything was fine. Going on another year of being cancer-free. My kids didn't look at me any different. As soon as they said, it's like, yeah, you can get out of bed and stuff, my kids were ready to play. Like, we were playing tag in the hallways and everything else, and I'm walking around with tubes coming out of my neck and everything. 
My family made the, just the transition from finding out about cancer to going through to the surgery and going through the recovery stage. My wife and kids were there every step of the way and they helped me recover, honestly. It was a hell of a journey, but without my family, I don't think I would have made it through. Snap for Carr on third down. Pressure comes, lobs it for the end zone over the shoulder. It's caught! Brandon Bolden over his shoulder. Getting back into the game of football, I feel like kind of sped up my recovery and it's more than anything because I was outside running, because I was back working out, because I was just, you know, back around the guys and even having to talk, just having to talk, having to communicate, having to try to be a leader for my teammates and everything else. Without the coaches and the teammates I had as well, even coming back, trying to get back into football, without them, I don't think I'd still be playing today. When I first found out, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was ashamed, I was scared. I didn't know if I was gonna play football again, but most, you know, bullheaded part on my, my end uh, was trying to hide it instead of going to get it detected because I possibly could have caught it early and avoided surgery and avoided missing a piece of my skull for the rest of my life. But, you know, it is what it is. You live and you learn, and I use my story to try to help other people Pocket holds, now he has to escape, dumps it short. Bolden at the 35, comes towards the middle. You can't take life for granted. My perspective has changed a lot. I'm a way more understanding person. I'm a way more detail-oriented person. Coming out with the story and seeing how many people it touched and see how many lives have changed because of it. What I would say today is don't be afraid. As long as you're in the know, there's no way that it can catch you off guard. I will say I have an even more joy for the game because I was at a point where I thought the game was gonna be taken away from me. Anything could be a reason to walk away from this game. And so I enjoy every second I'm out there. I enjoy every second I'm out there with my brothers, guys who we blood, sweat, and tears all off season and everything else. And we work so hard to get to this point. So anything I can do on my end, if I'm on the bench, if I'm on the field, hyping up the crowd, picking up a teammate off the ground, I'm gonna do whatever I can because this is a game I love and that's why we play it. And Brandon isn't the only Raider with a connection to the cause. Still to come, a Raiders legend shares his fight off the field. So the foolishness that guys don't go, you have to do it. Plus, I catch up with award-winning singer JoJo. First of all, people were ready to go. They were tailgating, I'm talking 9 a.m. They were fully, <laughs> fully ready. Raiders Talk of the Nation will be right back. This segment has been brought to you by Modelo, a taste that's pure gold. Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Welcome back to Raiders Talk of the Nation. As a Hall of Famer, four-time Pro Bowler, and Super Bowl champ during his time as a Raider, Fred Bolitnikoff has the kind of career many players dream of. Along with his impressive stats as a player, the Raider legend added another title to his life as a prostate cancer survivor. Fred Blitnikoff played 14 seasons, and in all those years, the Raiders never had a losing season. He has a special place in the hearts of the Raiders, and especially his teammates, who wore the famed silver and black, because he wore those colors with pride, he wore them with pause, he wore him with class. He was a star among stars. I had prostate cancer twice. The first time I had it was in 1992. I went in for a physical, and that's when he found it. You don't know what to say. You don't know how bad it is or what the whole dynamics are as far as what you have to go through. They took a biopsy, and of course, it was cancerous. So I had the option of going through the radiation or having the operation. And so I decided to have the operation. Then a number of years later, I'm back at the Hall of Fame, and they have a free checkup for all the Hall of Fame guys. So I went in and did that, and my PSA was high. So when I got home, I flew back down to LA, and found out my PSA true numbers were well over four, but there was really no indication of where the cancer was. There's still a lot of danger because it's something starting, and they found the cancer had come back underneath the scar tissue from the operation. That went through like 35 sessions of radiation. Radiation was tough enough. 
Then I went through a whole procedure with hormone therapy for like a year. And then I went back and didn't start my radiation. Basically, after radiation's all done, then it's a procedure to go and catch any little pieces to kill that off, too. So I did that. And it's been, geez, I don't even remember number of years. I go every year. And so my number is like 0.015. And it's been that way for a number of years. So the foolishness that guys don't go, you have to do it. I would go every six months for my PSA just to stay on top of it. Every guy's gonna have a prostate problem somewhere along the line. It's what you wanna go through to make sure and take the time to go to get that exam, to get your PSA done. And if you've had it, to make sure you stay on top of it. You know, there's so many things that happen, especially when you get older. If you let go, first thing you know, you have a problem, which you can easily prevent. I have a good support system with our doctor, Dr. Singh, who is with the Raiders, and I make sure I'm really consistent with it. And if there's something that I'm not feeling well with, first thing I do is call the doctor, just to set up an appointment to just go in and just get checked up, instead of letting things go. And that's what I do every year. Up next, the energy in this stadium is pretty electric. Raiders Talk of the Nation is coming right back. This segment has been brought to you by Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Allegiant Air, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights. Book now only at Allegiant.com. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Raiders. Intermountain Healthcare, the official health partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Discover your inner champ at Raiders.com forward slash champ. The national anthem, this is not the first time that you have done this before. You, you know this song through and through, and it means so much. You know, we saw cancer survivors out there today with Rachel Platten, and then you came out. Um, what does it mean to you to have those moments? Well, so I'm from New England, so I'm from like where a lot of American history all took place and where this song really originated. So for me as a New Englander and for me like this time of the month, I'm mad emotional. So right, I just right. like I start thinking about it, I'm just like, oh my god, like, woo. The energy in this stadium is pretty electric. It's my first time here, so that was really cool. I definitely got a lot of jitters, but um, very lucky to be able to set it off. What did it feel like? How loud was it out there? And the fans that were shouting for you, I know you saw a bunch of them in the silver and black. First of all, people were ready to go. They were tailgating, I'm talking 9 a.m. They were fully, <laughs> fully ready. So that just goes to show the diehard fans here, the Raider yeah. Nation. I, I saw like all the Raiders quotes and stuff and it, it said like, just win baby, or it said like a lot of cool things as I was coming in and I love that. It gets me fired up. And the No matter the month, the Raiders continue to support those in the fight against cancer. Players recently hosted local teens undergoing treatment for an unforgettable prom at Raiders headquarters. We're so excited to be here at the Raiders Performance Center uh, having pediatric prom for our teens from candlelighters and other individuals in the community uh, with critical illnesses and cancer. We have a really wonderful relationship with the Raiders who have supported our teens uh, even before the Raiders came here into town. Every month uh, we have a teen support group for kids who have or are battling childhood cancer. The Raiders reached out to us about doing a pediatric prom and we were so excited because many of our kids either can't go or won't go because while they're sick or battling cancer, it, it's just not on the forefront of their mind. So when we had the opportunity to partner with Raiders, uh, we couldn't think of a better way to celebrate with our teens. 
from the moment we came in, the silver carpet as opposed to the red carpet with the archway was absolutely fantastic and watching the kids light up. Uh, many of our girls picked out dresses last week and have been so excited about this opportunity for them to come and take pictures with the players and the Raiderettes and dance with them. It's, it's truly a one in a lifetime opportunity and you know this is a moment that will continue to bring them joy and hope. Well, we at the Raiders facility and we just having fun, kicking it with the kids, you know, they couldn't go to prom. Just trying to get, bring the energy out of the kids, you know, some of them in there shy, some of them in there have more fun than me, so I'm just trying to bring the energy, lift the kids up. You know, it was a great experience just seeing smiles on kids' face, you know, being able to see kids that beat counts come in and smile, it always made me happy. I mean, yeah, we knew out here, so anything we could do to get back to the kids or be in the community is always a blessing, so it's fun to be out here with the kids. It's so important for Candlelighters to have a relationship with an organization like the Raiders because cancer requires a community of supporters and champions to help surround our families. And they lean in and give our kids the, the joy and uh, the hope for the future. And it, they also make our kids just feel so special, which is so important. If I had one message for the Raiders, I would just tell them thank you so much on behalf of Candlelighters and our kids. Uh, these moments are so special for them. These are moments that they hold on to in their toughest moments during treatment. And I know that this makes all the difference. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Such an important cause and all of us here at the Raiders are very happy to be ambassadors every year to try and make a difference. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me this week. I'm Sibley Scholes and I'll see you next week on a new episode of Raiders Talk of the Nation.